Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. But we will start out by looking at the US dollar index because this will mainly be the key to see where uh, prices of commodities and uh, precious metals will go uh, from here. Uh, and as you can see, we have this green candlestick here above the 50 moving average. Which means that we are at the moment trading above the 50 moving average. And if we uh, close above the 50 moving average today, then this 50 moving average will become support. And uh, the next um, next real resistant uh, line is this uh, 50, uh, 200 moving average, which is way up in the 97, uh, 97 uh, level price level. And we have to look at the weekly chart in order to really see the long run um, price action for the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have bottom out. We bottom at, uh, sorry, this line here at uh, $91. And since then, we have basically been gaining um, to the upside. And if you look at the technical indicators, especially the MACD, we are just about to cross the signal line. And when that happens, we will basically explode to the upside if we get there. Uh, the stochastic is also pointing upwards and upwards momentum. And the same goes for the RSI. So the next few, probably two, three weeks, we do expect the, 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 the US dollar index to get very close to $95 or to the uh, 200 moving average on the weekly chart uh, before um, turning um, and going back down. And why this is important is both important for commodities because when the US dollar increases in value, it makes it uh, more expensive to buy uh, commodities because this is the world reserve. And when something becomes more expensive, then of course demands for those commodities and so on also goes down. The same goes for US stocks. When the US dollar uh, appreciates, it becomes more expensive to buy uh, US stocks as you have to buy the US dollar currency first before you can basically buy US stocks. So, uh, so it also has a negative effect on stock. As we can see, the, the indexes are uh, falling quite rapidly. But we will start off by looking at WTI oil. We did rally in the beginning of the, the, today's session, but now we have broken down and we are trading under beneath uh, $40. We're at $39, just underneath the $40. And if we look at, and now this is the weekly, uh, we'll look at the daily chart. Uh, you can see that that we are about to we have basically broken down and we will most likely go and retest these lows of uh, thirty six dollars. If we break the, these lows, we'll go to thirty five dollars and to also all the way down to thirty dollars, as I explained in yesterday's video. Um, we are the technical indicators are quite flat at the moment, but we can mostly assume that we will break to the downside in the stochastic, also in the MACD, uh, which will indicate that we'll go lower from here. Um, the reason for this is basically that US con now the world economy basically is slowing down. Uh, also, the Chinese economy is slowing down. And therefore, demand for oil is uh, significantly lower. Uh, and we have an appreciation of the US dollar at the moment, which also makes it uh, makes uh, the price of, uh, of WTI basically go down. So there are negative correlation between the US dollar index and also the price of oil. So if we look at the Fibonacci retracements, we can see that we will most likely uh, go and test this 30, uh, 38 Fibonacci retracement, which is exactly at 30 level. Uh, we can go down to the to the 50, depending on how bad the world economy is at the moment. 
uh, but the ceiling we have plenty of uh, resistance here by, both with the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average we tried to break through the 50 moving average and we didn't even get close to that so if we break to the upside we have to have a green candlestick above the 50 moving average before and then we go higher that is very very unlikely so if we look at natural gas Sorry, uh, natural gas. We can see that we have broken down quite significantly. We are down around two, three percent today, which also was expected. Uh, if you look at the at the MACD, we are it's quite negative. Um, the stochastic was uh, looking promising, but it is about to turn around. And what most likely will happen here is we'll get close to the 50 moon average and then bounce. This is all about the, the weather conditions in the United States and along, as long as there are, uh, are wildfires and uh, temperatures are extremely high, and then this market will go higher. Uh, we just got a way ahead of ourselves uh, when this market takes off, it's both in, in warm conditions and in cold conditions. Uh, it uh, tends to explode really rapidly to the upside um, and that basically also means that we will have a pullback at some point and that's what we are witnessing right now. So um, pullbacks are buying opportunities so so uh, yeah uh, just wait until it gets close to the 50 moving average. If we were to break the 50 moving average we have the 200 moving average which also will be support. We look at copper. So we have rallied quite substantially in the, today's session. Uh, we are not at the highs yet, but we are about to get there. Probably not today, probably tomorrow. And if we break these highs, we'll go to. Um, if we look at this, we'll go to this area here, which was previous. Uh, resistant which is around uh, 3.168 and uh, if we break that we'll go to 3.25 and then to the all-time high zero of 3.3 .3. uh, it will probably take some time but uh, the 50 moving average has been significant support and as long as that is the case uh, it is just a buying the dips scenario we have only touched the uh, 50 moving average um, twice in the last uh, three, four months. So uh, yeah, it, it, it's, the 50 moving average is, is significant support in this case. If we were to break down here, if we have a uh, red candlestick underneath the 50 moving average, then the 200 moving average will basically be a significant support. So if you look at gold, so gold again, uh, we did uh, break through this uh, triangle yesterday. Through this triangle yesterday, it's uh, there. Break through the triangle yesterday. We also broke through the, the 50 moving average. We also broke uh, there was support at the 1900 level, uh, but we did not uh, manage to stop underneath the 1900 level. So 1900 is still uh, uh, fairly resistant um, at this point. It, it all depends on what happens with the uh, US dollar index. Um, and as I said, we will most likely in the next uh, two to three weeks see the US dollar index increase in value and therefore put pressure on gold and silver and other commodities uh, uh, for, so they basically go lower. So at this point, if we break 1900, we will go to 800, 1850 and then also to 1800. Uh, if we break, break that, then we have the 200 moving average underneath, which would be basically significant uh, significant support. We can see this area here, which we basically were in for a very long time. This area should be massive, massive uh, support. 
So every massive uh, uh, pullback is basically buying opportunity because uh, we still live in a, in a world economy where central banks are just flooding the markets with uh, cheap liquidity. And uh, as long as that is the case, in the long run, the US dollar should uh, depreciate significantly. And that is really good for gold. So if you look at silver, the same case here, uh, similar to gold. We broke, out, broke through the triangle yesterday. Um, and at this moment, at this moment, we are trading underneath the 50 moving average. Uh, it looks like uh, 23 is, um, is acting as support. Uh, if we break this support line of $23, then we'll go all the way down to 22 and probably down to $20. $20 should be a significant uh, support also because we will have the 200 moving average moving up this way and a fall down to 20 dollars will basically coincide with a 200 moving average and that will basically push this market higher similar to natural gas and so on uh, gold not silver uh, really takes off when it takes off so when you have this parabolical move here, you, you lose, most likely will have a massive crash. We had one back here when it fell around 13%, and we had one yesterday when it fell roughly 6% and, and had a little bit of pullback. But at the moment, $23 is acting as support, and uh, if that breaks, we will go much lower from here. So we have Cocoa. there so yes we have broken down quite significantly around uh, three percent uh, in this trading session we're not finished yet and yesterday i said that the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average here should be significant uh, support so we're still in an uptrend we're still making higher lows and if we were to break down here it basically is a massive buying opportunity the technical um, indicators are all pointing to this market going significantly lower. So I would just wait, basically would see if we get all the way down here and then uh, see whether or not we bounce. Uh, I would be fairly surprised if we break both the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average and all of this support that is in this area here. Uh, so uh, 2.5. 4.5 2.5 should be significant uh, resistant for this market. And last but not least, we have Platinum. So we have reached the 200 moving average. And what I do expect also to happen here is to bounce from the 200 moving average. Um, we The technical indicators are fairly negative at this point so we might see uh, us testing the 200 moving average again like we did yesterday before we had this bounce uh, if we have a red candlestick full red candlestick underneath the 200 moving average then it means that we'll go much lower and we have this enormous area here which will act as uh, support that's all from 216 to around uh, 796 and if that breaks, we have an additional area here. So both this area and this area here will act as support. So it will take a lot of work in order to get all the way down to $584. But I expect a, a bounce from here. If you look at the four, the four hour chart, it is still quite negative. Look at the one dot hour chart, it is also very negative and the 30 minute chart is looking more positive we see that we are about to cross uh, the stochastic is about to cross here indicating that we'll go probably higher from here but this is all due to the world economy basically slowing down and these metals and the us dollar appreciating so you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing to our channel hitting the like button and pushing the bell button in order to see our newest videos, which will uh, 
we um, uh, we will make every day now uh, daily videos and also weekly forecasts on Sundays. So thank you very much and good luck trading.